Today we're gonna do an experiment. That is gonna be with this DJI Mini 3 Pro and a knife. So you wonder what can we do with a knife and a drone? Can this drone fly without a set of propellers? We're gonna start by cutting off pieces of this set of propellers that are already smashed up. So you can see how short propellers are needed for the drone to actually take off and fly stable. They're pretty hard actually. They are really hard. That was a lot easier. Now we can see that they are a lot shorter than the standard ones, the ones that are not destroyed. I do not recommend you to do this at home at all because it would most likely destroy things here because they're gonna create incredible amount of imbalance. Just imagine when you put new tires on your car and you haven't balanced them correctly, how wobbly and weird it feels in the car. Now you can see that they are far from equal length here. We should maybe cut that one off like that. Now they are a little bit more equal. Okay, so let's put the drone down on the ground and see if we can take off with this weird little set of propellers that we have here. So I do this for you and if you like this kind of experiments, please consider buying me a cup of coffee so I can buy myself a new pair of propellers. And if you need a new pair of propellers, I've dropped links to that in the description and comment box below as well. Let's fire it up and we need a remote. Before we take off, please let me know in the comment section how short of propellers you think that we're gonna be able to take off with. So let's see what happens when we start the propellers without taking off. Okay, as so I can see directly that the drone is going a little bit to the right or aiming towards the right. Now it's time to take off. Let's just push these one forward so we can increase the speed of the propellers. We can take off! Oh my god! That's incredible! I did not expect that we could fly with a propeller that is almost half the length of a non-broken one. Okay, so now it's time to cut off a little bit more. Let's turn it off. So now let's see how short a propeller we can have. Let's cut so we have about the same length at least it should be about there it's so hard this propeller blade it's really hard <laughs> it's cut the entire freaking drone off like that now we have Two small, tiny pieces of propellers <laughs> on one of the four arms. Let's try it again. <laughs> it looks freaking ridiculous with a drone with just three and a half set of propellers. Okay, we are started up again. Let's turn on the propellers. Check complete. I've checked so the propellers look good. So again, do not try this at home because I don't want you to destroy your drone. Okay, I'm going to move away a little bit because I don't want the drone to just take off and fly into me before I can shut it down. Okay, so let's turn on the propellers. Let's try to take off. You can see that it's kind of leaning towards that side initially, and then it's kind of realizing that, holy crap, it's not lifting on that side. We need to compensate. But look at this. Listen to it. It sounds more like a B. Can we fly to the sides? We actually can. Okay, so when we're flying backwards, it's a little bit more unstable. But to be honest, it flies better now when they are equal length on both sides than it did before. Okay, so let's take the drone down and let's cut off a little bit more. It's just incredible how the drone can compensate the lack of thrust from these propeller arm. This subtly makes me trust those upcoming autonomous flying taxis that are probably soon gonna be on the market and fly people around. This is incredible. Let's cut some more off, shall we? So now we have about, yeah, I think it's a little bit less than half length. Let's take about a centimeter. So that should be about like that. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Look at this. 
This looks insane. Let's take the other one also. So now we... <laughs> now we just have these two flimsy small pieces of propellers. So what do you think? Do you think we're going to be able to fly with this now? Let's try it again. So let me know if you like these kind of experiments. And if you do, what kind of experiment do you want me to do next? And again, please support me with a super thanks or a coffee because when you destroy things like this, it's, it's not cheap. <laughs> Check the propeller installation. Well, yeah, it all looks good. Now it's a little bit windy here also. Okay, so let's see if it's going to be able to take off. The risk is that it's not going to be able to take off on that side, so it's just going to flip over and destroy everything. So let's see. Yeah, you see? Directly it starts wobbling that side. So let's take off a little bit faster. Ooh! It works! We can fly with this. Let's see if we fly forward. All right, it's a little bit leaning backwards. Right, it's the same. And to the side, to the side. What about if we are turning? That works also. I'm just so surprised and impressed by how stable this is. Considering that we don't have much more than this amount of propeller on one side. The thing is that when we are flying to the sides, or especially forward, you can see that it's just struggling in the beginning. If I just pull a lot forward, it flies like to the side and the same backwards. But if I do it slowly, we kind of had time to compensate for the lack of thrust. I don't think we're going to be able to do much more. Let's take her down again and let's cut off a little bit more. <laughs> this looks freaking ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> Would you imagine that these could fly? If you saw a flying taxi that had a propeller set like this, would you ever think that it would be able to take off? Now I actually trust that it will. So let's bring out the knife again. Let's... <laughs> this is just crazy. Let's take off a little bit more. It feels like we just have a little tip left now. Let's take another centimeter. It's really hot in the middle. So this side of the propeller is a lot hotter than this side. And this is how it's attacking the wind. It attacks that way, so the, the side of the propeller that is attacking the wind is a lot hotter than the other side. Okay, look at this. It's freaking ridiculous. Holy crap, it's hard. <laughs> look at this. This is, compare that to these propellers. Oh my God, take a look at this. I need to give you a perspective here because this is, this is just ridiculous. Look at this. It looks insane. I think this is the limit. Considering how much it leaned that way when we tried to take off before. If it doesn't work, it's maybe better to take off from my hand. So I can help a little bit. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, that was nasty. You see the back propeller, these short little pieces, they just went straight into the ground. Let's see what's going to happen if I try to take off like this instead. Okay, propeller installation or error. Aircraft rolled. I know. I'm not going to be able to start the propellers when I'm holding it like this. Let's start the propellers on the ground and then I can lift it up. Ooh, no, I don't want to put my fingers in there. So what if I use the auto takeoff here instead? It's freaking scary. I don't know how to do this because if I do that and the drone is just going to flip over, I think we have reached the limit. Or what if I put something underneath that propeller set so it doesn't slime into the ground before it takes off? That can work. Now let's try again. Let's try. No. I don't know about you, but I am super impressed by the drone and how well it can compensate for having a completely failing pairs of propellers on one side. So thank you so much for watching and let's see each other in the video over here because that is the video that YouTube recommended to watch next. Have a good one. Bye.